Okay, folks, here we have a Dell i3531 1200 BK laptop. These guys are very popular right now. And in this video, we're going to look at upgrading to an SSD. The same process will be used for replacing the hard drive with just another normal hard drive if yours dies, for example. In this case, we're using a Crucial MX100. This is a 512 gig model but it also comes in other sizes. Um, I'll put some links down below the video uh, where you can read more about this particular SSD. But the process is going to be the same regardless of which particular SSD you're using. Okay, the first thing we want to do is unplug from the wall if your computer's plugged in and remove the battery. This will help us avoid electrical problems while we're working inside the machine. To remove the battery, you just flip it over, pull these two tabs apart, and then the battery just lifts right out. Okay, now to get to the hard drive, we have to take off this little plate right here. Uh, this is a little nicer than on some other laptops because on some machines you have to take off the whole bottom. On this one, there's just two, two screws we have to take out. These screws won't come all the way out because they stay attached to this plate right here. So just uh, unscrew them until they're, they seem as loose as they're going to go. Okay, now the plate still doesn't come out because it's held in by tabs along the edges as well. The tabs along this edge and this edge are significantly longer than the tabs along this edge and this edge. Um, so we're going to pop these edges out first to avoid the possibility of breaking the longer tabs that are on these sides here. Um, there's still a little bit of force required. You just have to kind of pry it up until it pops. You'll hear each little tab pop out. And you just go along the edge and do that. Okay, and then once those edges are popped out, it's real easy to get the rest of it out. Okay, you can see the longer tabs along this edge. Those might break off, whereas these are almost just straight, so there's not much to break there. Alright, put that aside. Okay, here is our hard drive right here. So we're going to take this guy out and replace it. Over here, you'll see the RAM. I also did a video on how to upgrade the RAM on this machine. It comes with 4 gigs but you can upgrade it to 8. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out my other videos. Alright, so to get the hard drive out, there are two screws holding it in that we need to remove. Okay. Now it's still underneath this plastic edge right here. So to get it out, there's a plastic pull tab. We just pull on that. Or no, actually, sorry. Um, there's a connector here that's connecting the hard drive electrically to the machine. Um, to disconnect from that connector, we need to push the hard drive this way. And then we need to pull the little plastic tab. Lift up over the connector as you're pulling it out. And that will get us out from underneath this guy. Okay, there we go. Alright, it's got this little metal bracket that helps um, hold it in place here. So we need to remove that. It's held in by a screw on each side. So we'll just go ahead and remove those. Okay, with those screws out, the little bracket comes right off. So here's our old hard drive. We'll just put it aside and put the bracket back onto our new hard drive. Okay, now that the bracket's installed, we can just slide it back in. First, we'll slide the end underneath the plastic mounting bracket, push it all the way back, 
until we have clearance over the electrical connector, then use our pull tab to pull towards the electrical connector and line it up. And we can just pull it in place until it's connected. And then once that's done, these two screw holes should be lined up so we can screw the hard drive back into the machine. Okay, there we go. Hard drive installed. Now we'll just put on the mounting the faceplate again. Um, this time we'll start with the long connectors and then do the short connectors. You'll probably have to screw these screws in a little bit before the connectors on this side will want to pop into place. And you just push them down until they snap. And then finish screw on the screws in. And we reinstall our battery, and we're done. Okay, thanks for watching. That's how you install an SSD in this machine, or another hard drive. Be sure to check out my other videos, or click down below to read more about the SSD we used. Thanks for watching. Bye.